Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jay and today I'm bringing you a quick update video just to let you guys know what is happening with add-ons for Kodi, specifically the TV add-ons uh, uh, the TV add-ons suite and repository as well as add-ons such as Phoenix and Exodus. So a lot of you have been commenting on my previous video that it doesn't work that way anymore and that is correct, it does not. And the reason for that is because of a lawsuit that is currently underway in the US, um, a company known as Dish Media or Dish Entertainment out of Texas has decided to sue uh, TV add-ons as well as uh, other mainstream add-ons for Kodi um, with a lawsuit for copyright infringement. Uh, it was only a matter of time before that occurred. And what has happened is, as you probably have seen, uh, I just had an indigo error on my screen, uh, as well as um, the TV add-ons uh, fusion. Uh, the repositories are no longer working, so you cannot uh, download any of the mainstream add-ons that way. So today, I'm not going to really go into detail into the lawsuit. Uh, it is something that does occur in this sort of realm from time to time. Um, it, it will blow over and things will go back to normal. I don't know how long, but uh, until that occurs, I will show you guys how to install Exodus via the zip file method. So it is actually um, it's actually a little bit quicker um, in terms of um, getting the add-on installed, but what happens um, is it does not allow auto updates to work um, from my knowledge. So you'll need to uh, jump on to the website that I'm gonna link in the description. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Uh, you're gonna need to jump on there every fortnight or so. Uh, for, you, for you Americans out there, a fortnight is every two weeks. Um, you can look at it more frequently or you can look at it less frequently. It's completely up to you, but you wanna try and keep the add-ons up to date as uh, often as possible because of the way that the add-on works in terms of streaming content. Okay guys, so we are gonna do this from a completely fresh install of Kodi. Um, for those of you unfortunate enough to watch my uh, first version of this upload, um, you'll notice that there uh, are some dependency issues that I did not account for. So this is the updated version of the uh, video which shows you how to install all dependencies for Exodus also. So this is a fresh install. First thing we need to do is go into the settings, system settings, over to add-ons and enable unknown sources. Fantastic, that's the first thing that needs to be done. Let's head back. Now we are going to go to the website that is listed in the description below and I will bring that up very shortly, so bear with me. So this is the website, guys. It is a github.com website, and it um, contains most, I think all except for one, dependency for Exodus, including the Exodus uh, plugin itself. So first thing you guys wanna do is go into the um, repository.exodus folder. You wanna download this repository Exodus version 2 by clicking on it then clicking the download button download that to wherever you want on your on your machine then head back to the fun stuff folder clicking on script.exodus.artwork downloading this file here script.exodus.artwork 105 or whatever the latest version is so again clicking that clicking download once that's downloaded, head back to fun stuff once again. We're clicking on script.exodus.metadata. Again, the bottom, which is the, the zip files, the one we're downloading, and the obviously the latest version of that. Clicking on it again, downloading that. When that is finished downloading, heading back to fun stuff. And now we're going to download the plugin.video.exodus, which is the main plugin. The higher number is the, the newer version. Obviously, you can see over here when it was last updated, so quite recently. And we're clicking on this one, and again, clicking the download button. So once those are all downloaded, the other link that I've given you is uh, this one here. Um, it downloads a thing called script.module.url resolver. 
uh, has to be above version three. So this one's the latest version uh, from Super Repo. Um, so download that also into the same folder. So you should have a total of five downloaded zip files. Um, so four from this website and one from the other. Once you've downloaded all five, we head back into Kodi. Once in Kodi, we will go into the add-on section on the left, up to the top here, to the add-on browser, and we're installing from zip. So the first one we want to install is the repository.exodus2. So let's install that. Add-on installed successfully, perfect. So install from zip. Now I'm gonna quickly show you what happens if you don't install all of the dependencies. So I'm gonna try installing the, the main plugin now and let's see what it says. Fail to install, it needs script.exodus.artwork version 104. So there we go, it needs, it tells you what you need to install to get it to work. So let's uh, go back in and install the artwork one now. So it's this one here script.exodus.artwork get that done installed perfectly uh, head back in and again we're installing the script.exodus metadata or metadata however you want to say it to get that installed so that's now installed also install from a zip once again heading down to where you've saved it url resolver now so let's get that done this takes a few seconds to do. There it is, all is done. Now that those have been installed, we can then head back in here and install the main plugin. And this will actually download some other dependencies, which is actually part of X, uh, sorry, part of Kodi uh, natively. So that's not gonna have a problem. So there we go. Common add-on methods installed, MySQL connector with Python installed, and a few other little add-ons to be installed. So there it is, add-on installed successfully. Now if we head back to the video add-on section, we can see that it is now there. Clicking on this brings up Exodus as we know it. So if we go in just to make sure it is working, let's have a look at the most popular TV shows currently. Make sure that uh, it is actually working this time so I don't have to re-record. So there we go, it is actually found uh, some of the shows. So looking good. So that's how you install it on a Windows or Mac OS box, very, very easy. There is an extra step involved if you're doing this on an Android or a Fire Stick. Um, I do have a section at the end of this video which goes through the install on an Android box. Uh, there is an additional step to view the downloads folder on those boxes. Um, it is not always the case on all Android boxes, so be aware if you can see, and I'll quickly show you, if you can see, the file system, when you click install the zip, if you can see a drive, this little drive icon, or a file system, and it will actually say root file system, you don't actually need to follow the last step. But for those of you that don't know where the file is downloaded to, or the files are downloaded to on your Android box, I do go through that. So stay tuned for that, guys. All right guys, so for you using an Android box, this is the process to access the download folder. Uh, I do apologize for the quality of this video. I don't have it directly linked into my computer. First thing we wanna do is go to File Manager under Settings, and we're gonna be adding a source and browsing for the download folder. Now on this box, like most, it'll be under the root file system and then we scroll down to the uh, SD card or storage, uh, sorry, storage uh, section, SD card zero, uh, sorry, emulated zero, download folder. So I will put the direct link in the description below. Again, apologies, the camera had some focusing issues. So added the download folder there. Now going back to installing the uh, add-on going into, sorry, into settings and into add-ons in here. And then going into install from zip, like we did on the PC and the download folder is listed. 
and there it is there. You can also look to do it via the file system, but this is just a little bit easier, quicker method for you guys to do. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, um, really, really uh, appreciate the feedback and comments uh, on my previous video. I hope this helps everybody um, get Exodus installed for now and I hope things change in the future and, and TV add-ons comes back um, and things are easier to do. So please like uh, and subscribe, I am going to be putting out more content as time moves on. So thanks again for the support guys, see you next time, bye bye.